Hello, and welcome back to Road Trippia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 767, and for tonight's Saturday Night at the Movies, we'll be doing Rob Lowe Trivia. This is a 21-question trivia quiz all about Rob Lowe. Most of the answers will be Rob Lowe movies, but there's also some stuff from some of the popular television shows he was in, and some of the questions about his life. So, enjoy the quiz, and good luck. Question number one. What is the title of the 1983 American coming-of-age drama film directed by Francis Ford Coppola, an adaptation of the 1967 novel of the same name by S.E. Hinton, where Rob Lowe plays a character named Soda Pop? That movie was called The Outsiders. Question number two. Although his only scene from the original movie's theatrical release was cut, Rob Lowe appeared in the following two sequels of what film trilogy, playing the younger version of Dr. Evil's eyepatch wearing number two? The answer is Austin Powers. Question number three. Rob Lowe's physical transformation to play the role of Liberace's plastic surgeon, Dr. Starts, in what 2013 movie, also starring Matt Damon, might be one of the craziest transformations Rob has ever undergone for a film. The name of that 2013 movie was Behind the Candelabra. Question number four. In what 2019 Christmas romantic comedy movie, produced and distributed by Netflix, does Rob Lowe play a pilot who flies a recently divorced woman to her now solo vacation to Zambia and ends up falling in love and marrying her? It had a very hallmarky Christmas movie feel to it. It was called Holiday in the Wild. Question number five. Another Rob Lowe movie that also starred Emilio Estevez, along with Demi Moore, Judd Nelson, and others, what 1985 movie centers on a clique of recent graduates from Georgetown University and their adjustment to adulthood? That movie was called St. Elmo's Fire. Question number six. Rob Lowe had a small part in a big movie starring Jodie Foster and Matthew McConaughey. What was the title of that 1997 film based on the 1985 novel by Carl Sagan about a SETI scientist who first communicates with extraterrestrials? That movie was called Contact. Question number seven. Rob Lowe plays himself, albeit a less attractive, bald version, in what 2014 political comedy film where he is interviewed by James Franco's character Dave Skylark on his show that is produced by Aaron Rappaport, played by Seth Rogen. That movie was called The Interview. Question number eight. Chris Traeger was the name of Rob Lowe's character, originally intended to appear only in a few episodes as a guest star, that ended up developing into a permanent cast member of what NBC sitcom set in Pawnee, Indiana?
The answer is parks and recreation. Question number nine. Although he was born in Charlottesville, Virginia, his family moved while he was a child and Rob Lowe grew up in what American city where he got his first professional acting gig in Wright State's 1976 summer production of Sherlock Holmes. Wright State is located in Dayton, Ohio. Question number 10. In what 1990 American psychological thriller film, directed by Curtis Hansen and starring Rob Lowe and James Spader, does Spader play a yuppie who meets a mysterious stranger, played by Lowe, who encourages him to explore his dark side? That movie is called Bad Influence. Question 11. Rob Lowe plays Jeff McGall, a Hollywood super agent who pitches the idea of a space movie where Brad Pitt blows smoke rings all over Catherine Zeta-Jones' body to Nick Naylor, played by Aaron Eckhart, in what 2005 satirical comedy? The answer is thank you for smoking. Question number 12. Only grossing $65 million against its $125 million budget, in what 2016 box office bomb about a subterranean creature who hides in a vehicle did Rob Lowe star as Reese Tennyson, the film's primary antagonist? The name of that movie was Monster Trucks. Question number 13. Shortly after he secured his first professional acting gig, a small role in a play, in 1979, Lowe landed the part of Tony Flanagan in a short-lived television comedy. What was the name of that show, Rob's first TV gig? The answer is a new kind of family. Question 14. Samuel Norman Seaborn is a fictional character portrayed by Rob Lowe. He is the Deputy White House Communications Director in the Josiah Bartlett Administration throughout the first four seasons of what television serial drama? That show was called The West Wing. Question 15. Rob Lowe stars as Benjamin, a sleazy Chicago-based television producer who is good-looking and highly successful, but manipulative and ruthless in his attempt to secure the rights to a public access television show in what 1992 Mike Myers comedy? Rob Lowe stars as Benjamin in Wayne's World. Question 16. In what 2009 romantic comedy did Ricky Gervais's character, Mark Bellison, have to work with Rob Lowe's vicious character, Brad Kessler, who always tells him the truth, even though it's usually very mean? This is a hilarious movie, and I'll be watching it again tonight. The Invention of Lying. Question 17. Rob Lowe stars as Guy, the Halifax Explosion Lafranc, a former Montreal Canadiens hockey player and the current mayor of a Canadian border town in Quebec in what 
2018 Broken Lizard comedy film. That movie was called Super Troopers 2. Fun fact, I actually donated to Super Troopers 2's crowdfunding site to get the sequel made. I think it was on Indiegogo a few years ago. I donated and got this cool shirt. Anyways, back to the quiz. Question 18. What is the title of the 1994 American television post-apocalyptic horror miniseries based on the 1978 novel of the same name by Stephen King that stars Rob Lowe as the deaf-mute survivor? That miniseries and the novel was called The Stand. Question 19. They met on a blind date in 1983 and reconnected again on the set of Bad Influence. What is the name of the makeup artist that Rob Lowe married in 1991 and shares two children with? Her name is Cheryl Burkhoff. And question 20. Rob Lowe plays Paul Barish, the actual husband of Beverly Barish, played by Bo Derrick, in what 1995 Chris Farley comedy film where Paul and Beverly try to scam Chris Farley's character's dad out of his massive auto parts fortune? Just one of the funniest movies of all time. That movie is Tommy Boy. Well, I just wanted to say goodbye. I've always hated you. You've always hated you. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, a lot of people know it. What you told other people, you hated me. Yeah. I even turned some people against you. Is that why you came over to talk to me? To tell me you hated me? No, no, I, I came to say goodbye to you. And the rest of it just sort of happened on its own. Came out, yeah. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Check back tomorrow. We'll be doing another new trivia quiz on our way to 1,001 episodes. Today was episode number 767. So if you are just now finding this channel, which lately we've been getting a lot of new subscribers, which is awesome. If you're just now finding this channel, you can go back and check out 766 other trivia quizzes that we've posted before this. Go to our YouTube channel page. We have playlists. We've got them arranged. You can find quizzes from all different types of categories and all different types of quizzes. Anyways, thank you for watching today's episode. Here is question 21, the tiebreaker for Rob Lowe Trivia. Rob provides the voice for Stanford Cordray in the episode Road to Rupert and also appears as himself in a live action scene with Adam West in the episode Not All Dogs Go to Heaven in what animated television series? The answer is Family Guy. All right, thank you for watching today. If you have any category suggestions for quizzes you'd like to do, you can shoot us an email, roadtripvia at gmail.com. Today's Rob Lowe quiz was specifically requested by a viewer of the show. Thank you for the suggestion. I hope you enjoyed the quiz, and see you guys tomorrow.